thank you so much. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I feel you. Your energy is so good. It's amazing. I swear. I don't think y'all know. Y'all have the best energy ever. Ever. Oh my God, it makes my day every time I look out there into the audience and see all your beautiful smiling faces, all y'all little fierce outfits, I see you. And I also see all y'all good dance moves when I'm backstage. You know, that's how I be trying to bust my little two-step too, but all I got is my knee and my shoulder. I can't do too much. But I'm here, y'all all right today? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get into this thing. I got another beautiful mug. Y'all been sending me some amazing mugs. So I want to share my mug today with you all. Let's see what it says. This is from Janice Winder. Let's see. Happy, happy place. Happy place. And then... I love that. See, this lets me know y'all be listening because this is something my mother used to say. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. Can you see it? There it goes. I did all that dancing. It's time for me to take my sip. Y'all hold the line, okay? Let me, let me get my sip. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think I'm good now. Y'all ain't want none, though. You ain't want none, did you? Okay. Thank you, Janice. I'm going to be sending you a mug from the show, so look out for it. Now, listen, don't y'all love people who always seem to have a bit of everything in their pocketbook? because I do too. Well, y'all look like those type of people, if you didn't know. So let's test it out with the little game we like to call Mama Hood Needs, baby. Yes. Yes, yes. We've chosen audience, two audience members, one from each side. So you have your team captains on each side, okay? Now, I would like to know what's your name and where Ta are you from? I'm Tata. Hi, Tata. Hey. Where you from, Tata? I'm from Rialto, California. Uh oh, hey. Where you from? Hi, my name is Karen, and I'm from Cuba. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. oh this sounds like this is gonna get real fun. Okay, so we're gonna ask you for something like lipstick, and you're gonna race to your side and pull it out now. And the first one who brings it to me gets a point, and the one with the most points obviously wins. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right, let's get it started. Okay, I gotta keep these edges laid. I know some of y'all understand Mama Hood needs, I need a brush. Give me a brush. Pass it down, pass it down, pass it down. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. This side. Ooh, this is getting serious. Y'all ready to go? Okay, listen, I, I, I need my nails cut. You know what, Mama Hood needs a nail clipper. Expensive, right? Mm hmm Y'all heard what I said. Eggs are expensive. Mama Hood needs a credit card. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, this side got two points. This side got one point. Okay, they go with everything and their comfy mama hood needs a white pair of sneakers. I call it just... Winner 
and my hands are a little dry. I need some lotion! <laughs> Mama Hood needs a whole Pisces. Y'all ready? Okay. Pisces people, did she say y'all can take your seats? Thank you, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, I want someone who's fit. Mama Hood needs someone who can do five push-ups. from home, easy and delicious. And the best part, it's delivered straight to your door. Since this is the house of plentifulness, everyone is going home with a $100 gift card from Home Shop. Here you go. You did that. We have a great show. As you can see, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Two weeks ago, I surprised one of my biggest fans on Zoom. Let's just say shocked was an understatement. Take a look. Her name is Breezy, and she thinks she's hopping on a Zoom with one of my producers, but I'm gonna surprise her instead. Y'all ready? Okay. Let's do it. I wanna see Breezy. Hey, Breezy! <laughs> it's me, Jumpa! <laughs> We at the oh. Jennifer Hudson show. Y'all here? Wait, Screen four. Wait, wait, hold the line. We taping the show right now. Wait, hold the line. Hold, she said, I hold can't. the line. <laughs> y'all, please welcome Breezy. Me and Breezy getting this together. Hold the line, y'all. She says she's having an out of body experience. Please hold the line. I'm having an out of body experience. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm here. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. I never saw my child in person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy oh, to see you. see you. Thank you. And look you upside your head, like Ooh, I like geez. to say. Yes, I am. You are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm about to cry. Take your time. You want some tissue? I think I'm gonna need some. She gonna need some tissue. Now, Breezy, I know on that Zoom, it took you a while to gather yourself, right? <laughs> so I, I, wanna, I want you to have time I, to gather I, I, yourself I'm good, now. I'm good. You good? I cried already. You cried already? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my set? Is it okay? Oh, it is beautiful. Now, how your daughters call, feel about you calling me? Oh, no, sometimes they drink haterade. <laughs> they drink haterade? <laughs> my daughter, um, my baby is on TV. All right, mommy, you better hold up. Wait a minute, now you taking this a little too far. I'm borrowing mama, y'all, if that's okay. I'm gonna borrow your mama. Can you do me a favor? What you want me to do? Can you say hi to your Mima? Huh? My 81-year-old mom. What's her name? Mima. Mima? Hi, it's me, Jennifer. <laughs> I got your daughter, Breezy, over here. And Uncle B. And, hey, Uncle B, it's me, <laughs> Jennifer. Come on to the happy place. I love to see you. Come sit on the couch with me and Breezy. Now, your letter you sent, it really touched my heart. What, what made you want to write in? 
Well, you've touched my heart. Thank you. Throughout the years. Mm -hmm. um, let, me, let me get this tissue uh -oh, ready. Get your tissue. Um, you know, when you were on American Idol. Yes, ma'am. That was the year 2004. Better tell me, because I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. And that was a really tough year for me, too. Wow. And just to watch you, your endurance, your perseverance, I cried with you, I laughed with you, I cheered with you. Thank it you. was just a lot. Wow. wow. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. I'm glad that, you know, I could be an inspiration or a oh, hope to you. an inspiration, and you're going to continue to be an inspiration to the world. You know the, you know the saying, eyes have not seen and ears have not, not heard. heard. What? Come on. <laughs> oh, she's preaching today. Oh, my God. That's and it. you're a registered nurse. How long have you worked in healthcare? I graduated from nursing school the year you were born. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. So I've worked in, uh, as a registered nurse for over 40 years. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. OK, and on top of taking care of others for a living, you also pay for it. I love this. You help pay for strangers' layaway? Yes. Can you explain that? that? Well, um, I don't know. It came to my heart one day. I don't know if I was in the store, mm -hmm. and I realized that some folks don't pay off their layaway, and it's right before Christmas. So I'm not a rich woman, but I just said, let me pay for it. Yes. And then I, I, I asked to tell. I have a certain amount, though. I can't pay it yes. all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I will tell the, the uh, cashier, um, get that person on the line. Mm -hmm. Not hold the line, just get them on get the, the line. Get them on the line. <laughs> right, get them on yes, the line. Yes, ma'am. And I speak to them and I tell them, I don't, you know, tell them who I am, but I said, I want to pay off your layaway, but I make sure that they can come and pick it up. That is so beautiful. I may have to adopt that. I love that you do that. You, that is so you. beautiful. I really appreciate you and, and love everything you're doing. So from one fashionista to another, I want to give you a little donation so you could take yourself shopping. you to get out there and... <laughs> but you came in here shop already. <laughs> I got it. I already see what you got on. No, I want to give you... you every day. And I'm like, yes, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Not today. You can't do me like well, this. see. Is my outfit okay today? Oh, it's gorgeous. You yeah. look like I need to take your shoes. Oh, you can have them if you want. Okay, well, I'm going to give you $1,000. <laughs> so... So you can get out there and get you some more good old shoes for yourself. You hear me? You choose to buy. Keep blessing others from your blessings. Thank you. Thank you for your support and your love. I appreciate you so much. Okay. Love you. We'll be right back. There you go. What she said. Our first guest is a stand-up comedian who has sold out arenas all over the world. His newest Netflix special is called Joe Coy. Live from the Los Angeles Forum. Take a look. All the tools to keep an eye on my son. I wish, if my mom had it, oh my God. Like if, I, if, I, if I didn't come home and my mom told me to come home, she'd go crazy. Be home at 10. Please, Joseph, come home at 10. 11.30. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Where is he? Someone kidnapped Joseph again. <laughs> Someone kidnapped Joseph again, which means I was kidnapped before. I was never kidnapped. <laughs> Please welcome Joe Coy. Thank you for being here, because you're in the middle of a world tour, so um, I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, I'm, yeah, I love it. Are you kidding me? Oh this is God. the... Does, does anyone... Thank you. OK, so, so let, me, let, me kiss, let me kiss your butt real quick. Uh-oh. OK, so it's like uh, Whoopi is like my everything, right? And, and, and one thing I loved about Whoopi was her one-man show, and it was just like, I watched that, and I was just like, oh, my God, what is this? And then when she got the EGOT, I was like, what? And then you got the EGOT. I'm like, what? And then... Ah, and then Viola got the EGOT. And then, and then Viola got... Yes! And I'm like, talented black women get EGOT. Oh, my God. Thank you. What great company to be in. Yes, like, in an, like it's an elite class. And like, I don't think people really understand how hard it is to get. It's like it's been over 100 and what, 20 years in Hollywood? It, <laughs> it's you three? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, We'd be working. Crazy. 
Thank you. All right, for so that. I just wanted to say that. I, I, it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing. So I'm inspired by you. So thank you so I, yeah. much. Thank you. That means everything yeah. coming from you. Now, you've been in the game a long time. How long ago, how old were you when you started doing comedy? 1989, right out of high school. Out of high school? Right out of high school. Oh I saw God. Eddie Murphy and I, I just fell in love. Like, I mean, I loved Richard Pryor, but when, you, when I physically saw Eddie Murphy on uh, HBO, that's when I was like, I want to be him. I, I remember asking my mom for the red leather outfit. I was like, I need a red <laughs> leather outfit. And she was like, Joseph, no, you can't wear leather. <laughs> and, uh, and then I ended up, that, that's Raw, by the way, what you just posted. And I went to Raw. Uh -huh. I went to Raw when I was 15 years old. 15? I was 15. And back in, the, back in the day, they didn't have, like, Ticketmaster.com. Uh, you had to literally, like, phone. You know what I mean? You and then the you give a credit card number, and then the person that was on the other line had to, like, determine whether or not that's really your card. So I would just use my mom's voice. back. This is, like, 85, I was going to ask, how did you do that at 15? I was just like, I really want two tickets to the Eddie Murphy comedy <laughs> show. Where would you like your seats? Oh, the best possible, <laughs> if you don't mind. And literally, that's how I got my tickets. I went after school and picked up my tickets, and uh, I was 15 rows from the stage, and we sat at the, it was the Seattle Coliseum when I saw him at 15. And then, and then fast forward, I, it was so crazy, because I remember sitting there looking up at the ceiling and just seeing it packed, and I was like, I can't believe this many people are here to see that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then fast forward to like two years ago when I sold out the same arena, the same arena. that I went to, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was insane. Oh my God. Congratulations insane. on thank that. You, it's thank so you. many things. Oh, well, tell us, what was it like when you told your mom you wanted to be a comedian? What oh, she, she, she cried. She cried. She cried? Yeah, because you know, she's she came from the Philippines. There she is. <laughs> she, came, uh, she came from the Philippines. And it's like, you know, come here and you, you want the best for their kids. Yes. And it's like, you know, you, you don't know what struggle is, Joseph. <laughs> and then uh, and then I'm like, well, I want to be a comedian. And she's like, a clown? You want to be a clown? <laughs> <laughs> No one wants a clown, Joseph. <laughs> and she wanted me to go to college. And I'm like, Mom, come on, I, I barely passed high school. How am I going to go to college? And, yes. uh, and she just was not getting it until I uh, bought her house. And then she's like, yes. I was going to say, what's she's she like, think yes. now? How you she's, doing, Mom? Now she's like in introducing me. This is my favorite clown. <laughs> this is my favorite clown. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and and grow up, when you were growing up, you were a dancer? Well, I mean, I think it, it, just anything entertainment. When you're broke, it's like, you know what I mean? When you're broke, there's like, there's no cable television. There's no, <laughs> there's no, uh, there, you were the entertainment. So it was like my sister sang and I danced. And then she, we would go to the mall and my mom would make me dance in front of like uh, Mrs. Fields cookies. And uh, yeah, I swear, it's so embarrassing <laughs> to even talk about, but it's, like, it's just like my mom would gather the circle. Everyone, look, my son can do the Michael Jackson. <laughs> And I'm just, I'm like dancing like Michael Jackson for a cookie. Just, but, that, but that's the reason why I was able to get into stand-up, because, you know, my mom was like Joe Jackson when I was like, <laughs> she was a Filipino Joe Jackson. <laughs> we, had, we had a couple of family members that had no talent, and they still had to perform, so it was bad. <laughs> And you, you recently went to the Philippines and you yeah. took your whole family. Yes. Now that sounds really expensive. Oh, it's very expensive. <laughs> Dad, you took all of these yeah, people? All of them. That is so nice. Yep. By the way, that's not the only trip. I do it every year. Every year. I, I fly them everywhere. Like, so uh, whatever moment I can, uh, that, that I accomplish, I want to accomplish and, and share it with them. Yes. All the kids. That's what it's about, right? Yeah. See, I kind of do that with my son and his cousins. I take uh, them everywhere. It's yes, the best. It's it the is. best. And it's like, what, what am I going to do with this money, right? It's like, it's like, uh, like I don't understand people with money and they, they, they hoard the money. Right. It's like, bro, there's no mall in heaven. <laughs> Chill. There is no mall Chill. in heaven. You know, you're not going to go up there and be like, yo, Jesus, where's Bloomingdale's? It's like, there's nothing <laughs> up there. It's like, take care and provide and help, uh, help people that need Create help. Create beautiful memories. Yeah, man. And, that's what you do. I love that. Yeah. There is no ball in heaven. Y'all heard that from Joe. <laughs> More with Joe. We'll be right back. All right. Do you have any rituals before you go out on your tour? Uh, I pee. I have to pee. <laughs> I have to pee. I swear, I was traumatized in Cincinnati at a comedy club. I had a few drinks in the green room. And next thing you know, they're like, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Coy. And I was like, wait, I haven't peed yet. And I went on stage. <laughs> I did like almost like two hours. And, uh, and, and there was some like dribbles that came out. And, <laughs> Bro, what am I supposed to do? I'm a performer, and, and, and little dribbles came out, and, and finally, at the end of my two hours, I was just like, you guys, I've been holding this piece since I got on stage. Yes. I need to leave, and I ran, 
And, uh, and I've been traumatized by that so much <laughs> that like, I mean, look at these shows. It's like, I can't go out there with P. Like I have, I have to be on E, I have to be, I have to be empty. I peed on myself in Cincinnati, show. yes. Oh my God. I know you do too. There's oh no God. way. It's it's frightening to be on stage yes. and, and have to. Because you can't concentrate. You can't leave. It's yes. not like the audience, you guys can get up and go. We can't right. go anywhere. Imagine if we could. Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right? Nah, the show must go mm -hmm. on, right? And speaking of the show, it's going to my hometown, Chicago, <laughs> United Center. Oh my God, you like I'm performing playing, there? I'm playing uh, the house that Jordan built. I'm playing the United Center. United it's Center. so crazy. Oh and, uh, goodness. That's your hometown. I'm from the south side of Chicago. I still live there, yes I do. I mean, how cool would it be if you just walked out on stage? That'd be like so cool. Oh I'm, not, I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. But Okay, like, and I was like, and then what I get to do, I get to sing. You can do, yeah, you get to sing, you get okay. to do whatever you want. You have an EGOT, are you kidding me? Okay. You, can just, you can just stand. You see, I did not put myself on the program. He invited me, okay? I did not, okay? Listen, I thought it would be fun to hear your opinions on a few things. Can okay. we try that out? Yeah, let's go. You ready? Yeah. All right, I can't wait to hear this. Napkins. Napkins. Uh, they're, oh, that's traumatizing, because my mom made, used to make me steal those when I was a kid, because she never wanted to buy napkins. She's like, why buy it when you can go to McDonald's and get a handful for free? <laughs> And she, literally, so all our napkins was just a drawer of just like, like fast food <laughs> napkins. You'd be at the, be at a birthday party. My mom's just handing out fast food napkins. Just, <laughs> Burger King, KFC, McDonald's. <laughs> it was bad. Okay, this one right here. This is where I get tripped up. Helping your kids out with their homework. Okay, I wasn't good at all in school. I failed the seventh grade. Not failed, but I was just bad in, in the seventh uh -huh. grade. And I remember when my son got to the seventh grade, I realized how dumb I was. <laughs> He's asking me for help, and I'm like, man, I need help. <laughs> okay, <laughs> iPhone versus Android. Yeah, iPhone, right? What so, you got? So if you meet a new friend and they text you, right, you give them the number and they text you and it comes up green, guess what? You're no longer my friend. <laughs> It's I'm like sorry. that. That's, that's it. That's, that's that, it. That's the only time I don't, that's the only kind of people I don't like, green bubble people. <laughs> don't, don't text me. Don't even give me your Blocks. number. Nothing. Just block. Yes, you, blue bubble or forget it. <laughs> bye, bye. You ever see that little girl? You ever see that little girl on the internet that says bye to her dad? Like, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> Staying friends with your ex. Oh yeah, yeah. My ex is my uh, my 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 ex uh, wife is my best friend, and uh, yeah, she's. A... I bought her. She goes on all our trips together. You know what I mean? Like everything that I everything that I am accomplishing. I I, I like I have my son go on tour with me, but you know I don't want it to be like okay, only my son, and then like the mom's not there to share that with with that's a beautiful. like. You know what I mean? Like we're a team. Like that's we made this kid, so yeah. let's share this as a, a family, just because. Yeah. Yes, I love that. Yeah, hold on, hold on, I gotta give you, you something. something. Look, 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 I got, I got uh, my tour going on and I, my tour merchandise, I like to, to just be like something that I would like to wear. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like if I don't want to wear my own tour with my face on it. Yeah, I get that. And I made, I made this thing where in our language, Tagalog, uh, it says mahal kita. And that means I love you. Aww. Right? Yeah, spread some love, you guys. Spread some love, love, right? Yeah. Yay! Oh my God, I have it! To find more out where you can see Joe on tour, go to JenniferHudsonShow.com. We'll be right back! Our next guest recently won her first Grammy Award. She's a talented country singer and songwriter. Y'all, please give it up for Ashley McBride. Congratulations on Thank your you. Grammy win. Yeah. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. I gotta hear, like, what were you, what was going through your mind? Like, cause I know how I feel when your category come up. Ooh, baby, the nerves they hit. Like, what was Plus going on? Plus your team is going like three more categories, then your category, two more categories, then your category. So I was like, <laughs> my sister is my, is my plus one. And I was like, hey, maybe you should hold my, um, my clutch. And then it, they had announced that Carly and I had won. And I was like, huh? Oh my and, God. and my sister's like, do I hold this? Do I hug you? And I was like, ah, just, it was. And then it's such a long walk. It is. See, I'd be more worried about giving the speech than winning. So I had no idea what I was going to say, um, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And I walked all the way out. And then halfway down, I was like, you should jog. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> You're in a gown. 
So I like two, took two jog steps and I was like, that's the end of that. <laughs> and then I saw Carly coming down the aisle. So I just did the sisterly thing and put my hand out, you know, let's go together. Yeah. And that, that kind of, we giggled together. That kind of calmed us down. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you grew up on a farm? Oh yeah. What was that like? In the Ozarks in Arkansas. Oh my God, so did you do like farm type of stuff? And what was Oh, the farm type stuff. Um, you know, which involves keeping animals alive. Feeding them, making sure they have water, making sure they have clean places to sleep. Uh, also, that means in cold winter months, mm -hmm. if there is a, like a pond where they get their water from, you have to go. I was a kid chopping ice up because cows aren't, you know, they don't think about it. They'll just walk out on the ice and then you're looking at oh my God. a really bad situation. So, I mean, and I get tickled now when I think about it. Just me, little Ashley, just running around chopping holes in ice. So you would have to chop the holes in ice so yeah. they didn't like... You could take a hammer and you're just like, cow's got a drink. How long did it take? <laughs> did, it did it take a long time? Just a while. My brother would help me, uh, my older brother. Well, they're all older, older than me. But... Wow. So how do you feel about the cold? How do I feel about cold? Yeah. Being cold and being angry are the same feeling. I feel the same way. Yeah, I'm indoors and I'm in velvet right now. Oh my God, that's how I am. Yeah. I got on like three layers, girl. Mm -hmm. I don't like being I would cold. rather sweat and risk burning the extra calorie. We could be friends. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Okay, tell me this, is it true you used to like house it for Dolly Parton? Yes, there was a time when I very first moved to Nashville, mm -hmm. um, I got a job and they were remodeling one of her, like, it was a lake house. And my only job was to be inside and let the workers in and out every day. Um, and, you know, like watch the wallpaper dry. <laughs> and just stay there at night, make sure everything was, was going well. Everybody could come in, everybody could go out. And I was um, not really quarantined, but the part of the house that I was using um, was a bed and a deep freeze and a microwave and a TV. They kind of moved it all. And I was allowed to use the pool too, if you, if you wanted to do that. Um, and, and it was uh, actually Dolly's niece was there that was, was the other person house sitting. Mm. And um, we set the microwave on fire on accident. <laughs> in, a, in a wallpaper, like oh, a newly wallpapered Lord. room. Yeah, bagel bites um, Which are you delicious. You ain't set it on fire. But you have to be careful. Yeah, and then when the you microwave- said Dolly Parton when it, would, No! Oh, it's like, how, you don't want to be that person? Mm -mm. They're like, oh, you know that girl? She said Dolly's house on fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I grabbed it, and I, it was fully on fire. I grabbed it and took it outside. On then, fire? Yeah. And then Dolly is such a sweet person. Uh -huh. When she found out about it, she gave me the microwave. <laughs> right? She gave me the microwave because she knew I was, I just moved to town. I was broke. I didn't have a microwave. <laughs> it smelled like burnt bowling shoes. <laughs> I used it for like a year and a half. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so what is this I hear about this special handshake you got? Oh, it, well, my guys and I, uh -huh. um, in my band, I, we are such, we're so in touch with the fact that we're big dorks. <laughs> that we're like, I think we're supposed to do secret handshakes before we go on stage. And we were like, oh yeah, well, some of us were doing high fives and some of us were doing handshakes. Uh -huh. And it wound up just being really ridiculous handshakes, but I'm kind of superstitious. So once we did that, we had to keep doing them. So, and then Dana, who does all kinds of things, including make everything look really nice, mm -hmm. her likely, has to perform every handshake that we've ever come up with before I can go onto the stage. Oh my God. And uh, she does them in a certain order, and it takes like 60 seconds to go through all the handshakes. So if she went out of order, you can go on stage? Well, sometimes we'll be like, ooh, like we'll call each other out, and like, oh, we did it wrong. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, so can we make up a special handshake? Yeah, absolutely, we should. Okay. So if, if I tell you that we're gonna make up a handshake, but I don't know if it's a handshake or a high five, and then we just go to do one, what, what happens, right? And that's gonna be the handshake? Yeah, we just go do what happens. Uh-oh, let's see what we come up it. with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, now, now Dana has to dead fish. Dana, handshake. you watching Dana? Dana's Boy, gonna... Ashley, we gonna figure this out. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with Ashley McBride. Okay, so I hear you have j a few jingles on your album, Lindyville. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you need a good jingle. Yes. Especially when you're making up a bunch of songs at once, mm -hmm. and then you need a break, and then you just make up another song. <laughs> and you put it <laughs> But on it's this. a small one. <laughs> I love that idea. That's so dope. And then you have one about a funeral home? Yeah. I love this idea. Can we take a look? <laughs> Your maker will be your undertaker for a family funeral home. The 
cheapest destination with two for one cremation for a family funeral home. Across from Ronnie's pawn shop, please let us be your last stop for a family funeral home. Yeah. <laughs> the words to that. That yes. is amazing. Okay, tell us about it. So the album is about a fictional town called Lindyville. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had realized we had all these characters over the course of writing together, a few friends and I. We thought, let's make more characters, give them a place to live. And then it, we didn't write it to be a record. It eventually became one. And when we would take breaks, we would make these, we were like, there's probably a diner, so we'd sing a little ditty. And there's probably a pawn shop, we'd sing a little ditty. And I was like, you know what you never hear a jingle for? A funeral home. I think that is genius. And we just got so tickled. Uh -huh. Just the fact, just saying two for one, like, like two for one cream, <laughs> like, that's not real dark and morbid. Oh my God. I'm like, should I be laughing or? <laughs> you definitely should. <laughs> and uh, your new single, Light On In The Kitchen. I love this title. Thank Tell you. us what that's about. Um, two friends and I were sitting down to write and Connie Harrington had the idea. She said, was there always a light on in your kitchen growing up? Mm. And we sat and thought about it and thought, yeah, there was. In fact, my aunts were that way. All of the family um, homes that I would stay in, there's usually a light, and there's always one on in my kitchen. And we had never, you have never really thought about that, why that is. And that's because if you have a guest at your house, you want them to feel comfortable and uh, know, find the glasses for water and things like that. Then we thought about some other things that the women in our lives had taught us and just kind of grouped some of that advice together. And um, in that song, she says, you know, you're gonna find somebody and you're gonna love them with all your heart and you'll need someone to listen. That's why I leave the light on in the kitchen. You better write. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and to this day, nice? we usually go to the stage, you know, at nine or 10 at night, you know how that is. Yes. And um, I'll often get a text from my mom or from her sister, Gloria, that says, um, we're headed to bed. You're probably headed to the stage. I'll leave the light on. Isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. That, there she is. She's so cute. That is so sweet. Well, since you're such a great storyteller, I want to give you a few stories and let to see if you can come up with some, you know, songs with it. Yeah, no can problem. you handle that? Yeah, no problem. All right. <laughs> Let's hear our first suggestion. Oh, we got a whole guitar, Fantastic. too. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Kenya, and I'm from sunny California. All right. <laughs> What you got? Let's see. I had a coworker that just knew the, they had the perfect person for me. So they set me up on a blind date, only for me to get to the restaurant, and it was my cousin. It's already a country song. It's already. <laughs> right? The whole accent on thick. It's already a country song. It's feeling good already. Last night. A friend of mine said I should go out with a guy she knows. She knows. My heart took off <laughs> at the thought that rhymes. Falling in love with someone. Turns out the guy she knew was my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that is so amazing! <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Will you come back? I will come back. <laughs> you better work. You can listen to Light Art in the Kitchen and more on Ashley's music on streaming services now. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.